Hey, Dirt Bike TV here today. We are putting on bib moose time. I just got some new wheel bearings put in here, here at Moto Experts, and now new wheel bearings in, it's ready for the next step, Dunlop Moose. So dunlopmoose.com is where you can look and get, see if you want to get and can get. It's, 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 it's what the pros use. These Dunlop Mooses are what the pros are using. It's a bit harder to get than some of the other brands if you find them in stock and stuff like that, but I'm going to be putting on AT81, 18 inch rear tire here on our tusk wheel. So the tools we're using, we're going to use a, just a cooling gel, a moose loop cooling gel. We're going to be using our, our Raviconda, right? Oh yeah, Raviconda is a must. <laughs> yeah, and then these irons, big iron, and one of the more important things that Dylan likes to kind of remind guys here is about taping up your rims. Uh, the biggest thing is what I see just working in a shop. I see a lot of bibs come in. We do a lot of bibs. Uh, they don't tape up or seal the uh, rim. So a lot of the lube just oozes out the spoke uh, nipples and then you lose all your cooling gel and that therefore destroys your bib. Uh, that's a number one thing I like to address first. And that's, I usually just use plain old Gorilla Tape it works well, uh, duct tape works well, it kind of breaks down faster. But for the most part, I just stick with the Gorilla Tape. Yeah, and you should be using Gorilla Tape around your wheels, even if you're running tubes, and not only to not have the gel oozing out of your spokes, but also most spokes are gonna be eating up your, your moose bib. It's gonna ruin it mm -hmm. faster. So you definitely wanna make sure you have it properly taped and that's the first step before launching into this tire change. So check out us putting on this Dunlop AT81 tire with a Dunlop Moose. So we've got our cooling gel going in. We have some people, have, we, we've used Murphy's tire soap in the past. And I know that that's somewhat um, controversial to some dudes as far as using it and how long. A lot of times when we're using Murphy's tire soap, we're not, it's what um, people in outdoors are using because these these mooses aren't staying in for that long. So these this tire soap isn't gonna be breaking down your moose like a lot of dudes are worried about if they're having it in for long term. But at the end of the day, if your moose that you're getting comes with the paste, you should probably use that specific paste. Oh yeah. Oh, we got a, this, this tire was at like the middle of our tire stack. So it's a, it was a bit crushed down. So taking some good effort, pushing it in. When you're storing your mooses, you want to make sure you're storing them somewhere where they're one wrapped up either in a bag or in the box they came in. You don't want them getting too hot, right? Cause they'll right. start to shrink up. Biggest thing is sun, sun damage will destroy moose. Yep. Even even the tires too. Okay. Make sure our rabicon is on the right size. And then make sure they're directional. No, it's not directional. You're good. Sweet. It's a beautiful tire. Makes my job easy. Exactly. Some of our irons are a little worn out. Look at that. Nice. Oh. Smaller bites. There you go. <laughs> I'll try to push this bib down a little bit. Yeah, it's not even the tire that's off, it's the bib that's climbing up. Yep. There you go. 
Once he gets on the other side of that rim, it'll stay over there usually. Oh yeah. Looks underneath the rabiconda there. Nice. Step by step, working her on. And this isn't even a gummy tire, this isn't even the EX81, so a gummy tire with the moose is even usually easier to put on. Yeah. You can almost do it by hand sometimes. Exactly. Just push it on. Pushing that rim lock, bring the rabiconda down. Pressure on the, boom, like that. You don't really have to push down with the Rabaconda too much, right? Mm -hmm. You're just mainly pushing the rim lock in. Yep. Biggest thing is sometimes you'll push that rim lock in and it will just suck the tire right with it. Yep. So. And then we just make sure it's beaded. This one's not. So what I'll do is I'll take it, find the valve stem hole, and just pump some air into it. There. Boom. Set. Tighten up the rim lock. I think Jay has the best torque spec for this uh, rim lock. You like his torque spec? The, yeah. the arm? Just the arm pumping up just a little bit. You can feel when you start the, when you feel that certain vein in there, then you know it's right. Oh yeah, just right. Kind of helps if you have a ratcheting one. Yeah. This is just the first one I grabbed. Makes it a little bit easier. And obviously when we're, we're running rim lock here on our rear wheel, some people choose not to run down the front wheel, but that's obviously uh, up to preference. At the end of the day, these mooses, you know, when you're going up to high speeds, can still be unpredictable at times. You can overheat them and it can be kind of dangerous. So you want to be mindful of the type of riding you're going to be doing when you put a moose in especially. Right. And then another thing I'll, uh, I tend to do on my own bibs and some customers' bibs, if they're going pretty long time without maintaining it, pulling it out, lubing it, I'll uh, either throw a piece of Gorilla Tape over the valve stem hole or use some uh, like RTV silicone, just, just cover it up. Something to cover it, yeah. Yep. They do make uh, some like their valve stem hole covers you'll see in some bikes. Uh, those work too. Yeah, but. no, I've seen those. Okay, we are done. That feels heavier. Yeah, it's kind of how it goes, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. So, bib moose on the rear. I'm ready for some desert riding this winter and fall. I have a poor reputation in like Green River area of getting flats. So, this is my desert slash race wheel. Thanks, Dylan, Moto Experts, coming out here and putting this moose bib on. I'm not a big fan of putting on mooses, neither is my dad, but they do have their time and place. But at the end of the day, we have a lot of videos talking about the pros and cons of tubes versus mooses. And for a lot of dudes, if you're just doing normal riding, a lot of times you can just, you're cool with staying on the, uh, the tube life and it's less maintenance. You know, you do have to keep upkeep these. That's something that people need to remember when they get a moose, it's not like you can just leave that in there and all your problems are magically gone. I don't got to take tire pressure anymore. I don't got to do anything. No, it's not how moose has worked. You need to upkeep it, lubing it, uh, making sure that it's not too soft, you know, like making sure you're cutting it up and you're putting pieces in or putting a new moose in pretty consistently because I've hopped on bikes of dudes who have that mindset of, oh, it's a fix all. I hop on their bike and their bike feels like they've got two flat tires. And I'm like, you might as well just be running tubes because it feels like a flat in the front and rear. So you have to keep in mind way out if you really want to be keeping the maintenance, which mooses are a commitment to. So thanks for Moto Experts and Dylan putting this thing on. See you on the track or trail soon. On X Off-Road, know where to go with the number one GPS app. Access 500,000 miles of trails and roads open dates and public lands. The elite version even shows landowners and property boundaries. Download the Onyx off-road app.
To save 20%, use the discount code DBTV1.